Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing, even though it's already out of the box. So technically, is it an unboxing? I mean, it, it's in the box, but it's in the box. Oh, but there's a there's a pack in here, right? There's a pack. So in the... I get to open the pack. <laughs> I was gonna say like, when was the precon list has been out for like two weeks That's now? That's true. So everyone kind of knows what's in the box, but not in the but pack. Not what's in the pack, right? A little okay. mini pack, yeah. How do we explain what a precon is to people who don't play Magic and watch my channel? Before you go any further and struggling, you probably should open it from the bottom. It's also because it's not like a perfect rectangle, so you're trying to like pull it by the bottom of the smaller <laughs> wedge. <laughs> I could change the world. I'm we go. How do I mess that up? There we go. That there was go. satisfying. <laughs> All right. And it says hive lines. Everyone's thinking about them. Well, this hive mind couldn't figure out the tab. Wait, it's like you're not connected to the hive mind yet. I'm not connected to the hive mind yet. <gasps> so in there, it I should... love it. I love this so much. The little mini box. Yeah, I love. I can. Is it my first mini box? I believe so. It's my first mini box. Is there anything else in here? Uh, not really. The, not really. There's like little cardboard token things and stuff, but. Um, yeah, we don't need those. Not really. Yeah, we don't need it's those. It's actually collapsible, but that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. <gasps> I can cut this out and make it a coaster. You can. It's a bit kitschy though, isn't it? Fair enough. It's me. <laughs> okay, so. Me. Okay, so we're opening. This is the sliver precon. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to fix this up later and make it a better deck, but we just want to pull pieces from here. Okay. So we've got the deck. More cardboard, counters, which we never use. Mm -hmm. <gasps> a poster. Yeah, a little mini poster with like explanations about the, the commander. I was very excited oh, for this that. one. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. All right. Oh, look, it's, it's Bibblethip. It's Bibblethip, yes. Bibblethip. <laughs> it's the boy. <laughs> Silver Swarm and Grave. Okay, I like it. And we got. Is this the pack? That's the pack, yeah. Is this the booster pack? Yep. Oh, okay. It's literally two cards. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. Wait, should I open this first? Um, I don't know. The the, the booster pack is kind of the interesting part. Oh. Like, that's okay. the part that like you, we don't know what's gonna well, be in. Because we know what's in here. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> don't pull my back again trying to open this. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> oh, let me pause the video for a second. No. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I think. There we go. I got it. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what I got. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. Huh? Wasn't let's, expecting that. Let's see. Well, I got Regal Sliver. Okay. I think it's actually also in the, it's in the pre-con. <laughs> yeah, so I just got an extra copy. Yeah. Uh, sliver creatures you control have when this creature enters the battlefield. Slivers you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn if you're the monarch. I'm not a fan of monarch, though. It's fine. Otherwise, you become the monarch. It's fine. Might be one of the ones you take out, then. Huh? Might be one of the ones in the pre-con that you take out. Yeah, probably. Um, this one's fun. Not one of the ones I wanted, well, now but... I'm curious. What is it? Uh, Sheree Shizo's Caretaker. Oh, snap. Oh. That's really cool. It's the foil right. one. I like it. I mean, it's foil, so. Yeah. Is this when they started doing the new foils? I don't Have know. Have they done the new? They keep saying that they're, they've they reworked the foil, but I don't buy it. Yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, the issue is that they, they curled. Oh, like, man. really what's nasty. This? This? Take a look. Already it's the, already curling. A little bit curling, uh, yeah. It's so upsetting. Like, that's like, yeah. <laughs> Whenever a creature with power one or less is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may return that card to the battlefield at the beginning of your next end step if Sheree Shizo's caretaker is still on the battlefield. Yeah. Hmm. No, it's a solid card. Uh, Josh has one of those. I'd probably run it. Continuing. Continuing. I'm going to open this now. There's a little tab flappy doodle thing in the middle. I'm not good at following instructions. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm a rebel without a cause. Clearly. <laughs> okay, so this is our commander, right? 
Oh, this is, this is the starting one, but this may not be the one you said you wanted to use. This is true, because we're going to turn this into a Sliver Phyrexian Praetor deck. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the plan. Yeah, it's your plan. It's my plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the ledger rule doesn't apply to Slivers you control, like this one. Oh, mm -hmm. we talked about this one. Yeah, so that, that's the, the commander you want. Yeah, the biologist. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, ooh, this one's fun. I like the art on this one, Clot Sliver. Oh yeah, that's the original art. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah. Um, how do you explain what slivers are? Slivers are one of the villains of the world of magic. They're more like kind of like I guess you'd probably think of like in a monster movie. They're like like a zombie outpost or like they are a species of creatures in the world of magic that function in what's called the hive minds. That flavorfully, the whole idea is that. The hive mind is mechanically shown in magic through the idea that each sliver shares its property with every other sliver on the board. Yes. Um, it's like if mushrooms could attack, but were also worms and zombies. Is that fair? You know, that that's not too far off, but... It's because we watched the documentary last night. The, the fungus documentary I think on Netflix. There's a lot of bugs that kind of do that too, that share some sort of hive mind where they have like... What's the word? They, um, I like this one, Crystalline Silver. Is that the one that, yeah, like a shroud, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. That's cool. Oh, there's the other one. Mm-hmm. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. There's so many. Mm-hmm. Most of these know. aren't even new. This is just like... It's reprints. Yeah. Some of them much needed. Oh, okay. I think that's it. Yeah. probably explain what's about to happen. So I have a bunch of stuff. I have a big box. Um, I have a little box. I have this other box. And essentially what happened today was we went to the Wilds of a Drain uh, pre-release and I was talking to a bunch of people about how I'm a teacher and how I'm trying to start a magic club at my school. And they donated a ton of cards and starter packs and things to my classroom so thank you so much to everybody who did that i'm so grateful to you you have no idea so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and see what we have in here and try to put together some things uh for my kids um also i used my winnings to get sleeves so i got them these colors and that's pretty much what we're gonna do um this box was donated by a really good friend of ours and it's all lands which is great so we don't have to really worry about that right even mm -hmm. though these kids probably home with lands I mean, it's never bad to have more basics. Yeah. Um, these, there's some lands in here, but not really. It's just like a mix-up, uh, which was donated by another friend of ours. Um, and it's just kind of like a mix-up of, I guess, chalk that he didn't want, right? Yeah, it's uh, from the store, mostly. Probably from uh, previous drafts. Probably. I mean, 
Yeah, so like, well, this is from today. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, there was a pre release yesterday as well, so. This is from the Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Right? So there's a bunch of random, bunch of random stuff that's in here. And for right now, what we want to know is what's in the big box. So that's what we're going to open. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. Um, it says right here, I'm going to like cover that code. Mm -hmm. It says right there, Wizards of the Coast starter kit. So that's definitely what's in the box um, after speaking to, I mean, I was asking for chaff um, to purchase off the store owner and he donated a couple kits to us instead. So let's see what kind of kits we got. That's the part that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, can you see this? Yeah, I can see them. You want to pull one out? Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, I know what these are. What are these? So these are uh, starter kits. They used to have these like uh, dual deck type things where like you'd be two decks that are built so that people can play with each other. Oh, didn't we do that one time where like we bought it and the decks were already made? Uh, kind of. Okay. Well, it says learn to play. So does that mean that the decks are already put together? Yeah, so well, like the decks you, are ready to play. If you look on the top, one was you see the, the colors. So one of them is white, green, one of them is red, blue. Oh. Let's see that. Yeah. Oh, so I wonder if each one is kind of different. Though. No, I think they're all the same they're one, the same, same base. So, yeah. yeah, they're all white, green, and red, blue decks. That's pretty exciting. Okay, well, that'll be easy then, because then when I teach the kids, that'll be consistent. Mm -hmm. We'll have the same colors, and we can kind of, like, work through strategies together right. seamlessly, right? Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Okay. Awesome. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. We should probably open up one of them. We'll open up them and cast. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, twelve. Okay, there's twelve. So that's uh, tw twenty-four. Twenty-four decks. Yeah. Twenty-four decks. That's great. That'll be enough for the teachers to learn too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's open up one of these. Um, looks like there's a piercing here. Look at this. I see a perforation here. That's uh for the uh. Label thing, I think. Oh. How do I open this? I mean, either from the bottom or. The side, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what kind of cards. So then, does that mean that they all have the exact same cards in it? I would assume so. These are uh, pre constructed decks. Okay. That's really cool. If that is the case. Okay. Let me open this. <gasps> ah! So much stuff. Yeah. Okay. And there's a booklet. Ah! Okay. Um. That's the, I guess, starter kit, like, instruction menu. Oh, this is cool. It has, like, frequently asked questions on the back. Mm -hmm. So you can refer to this. Like, can my creatures attack my opponents during uh, combat? Should my library or my hand be visible during the game? I love that. Yes. This is going to be helpful for them. No, it's That's like really people cool. just getting into the game, yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um... Combat. Oh, and it explains everything. It's probably like, like the bases, yeah. So I basically have like 12 man like manual guides for mm -hmm. that now. That's so cool. Are these little boxes? Oh yeah, deck boxes, yeah. Oh, they're little deck boxes. That's so cute. So we can keep them safe. Yeah. I love it. I love it so much. Um, that's very exciting. Okay. So oh, okay, so it comes with this. Mm -hmm. These are ooh, dragons. Tyrant, the carriages. And Boon, Boonbringer Valkyrie. Are you familiar with any of these? Um, well, yeah, like it's like, uh, it's from the newer sets. Like the one on the left, it's Brothers of War, and the one on the right, that's uh, March of the Machines. Oh, okay. So I can already kind of see the general idea, it looks like. Okay. Looks like the left one's probably going to be like spells and damage and burn. And the one on the right looks more like kind of go wide and buffs. Okay. Cool. Should we open them up and see what's, sure what's in them? Probably sleeve one of them. Let's see if there's any cool. Sure, trying to think. Does it say like how uh, big the decks are? Like how many cards are in them? It doesn't. Let me see that. Maybe on that back part it says. Uh, ready to play. Sixty card decks. I'm oh, so it's standard, right? Yeah. So cool. hold, on, standard, hold on a second here. So those are fifty sleeves per. So I just realized there's an issue there. Oh no! I didn't buy enough sleeves. I mean, we could just buy more of each one. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Let's see. If you buy three of each one. That should be enough for how to have two of, two of the same color. Yeah. The decks are the same color. Yeah. We'll figure it out. So we got time. 
We can also just play magic as uh, Richard Garfield intended. <laughs> just, just black tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so let's see what cards come in here. Well, that's the uh, arena mm -hmm. card, right? This is ruled the card, so. card, which is always helpful for them to have. Okay, let's put those to the side. All right, what do we have of value? I don't know if you're gonna get much value out of it. But yeah, but like just to understand like how the deck let's see. works. All right, the Valkyrie has backup into the trenches. That's a what was that's an anthem? Oh, Silverback Elder, Last Legion Duelist, yeah. Siege Veteran. Oh my goodness, these are actually some pretty cool cards. Yeah, I love it. It's great. So it's got Convoke. It has go wide mechanic stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess like weenies. All right. These are actually some pretty cool cards. That's what I'm saying. Well, there's two of these. Yeah, because it's a... Um, oh, Storm of the Sea. Oh, card. I love this art so much. Who's this artist again? Um, this is Jason Rainville. Yeah, he's really good. He's very good. Got two of them. Two of those. Yeah, this is very much kind of like a low-to-the-ground aggressive deck, it looks like. Yeah, but I think that's a good way to learn. Though. Oh, yeah. Classic. Okay, so I got these. Then should we open up the other one? See what's yeah. in it. Okay, so this was um, like bigger creatures, right? That's actually no, it's more uh, blink. Like blink? Not blink. Uh, no, it's like just like army. So like one was like, you have just like a bunch of creatures that are like mid rate mm -hmm. with a few bigger ones. Okay, so let's open up this one. Play a bunch of creatures, get them buffed, protect them, swing out. Yeah. This one, I'm guessing, if it's red blue, means it's gonna have like counter spells, bounce spells, burn spells. Dragons and fairies. This one off. Okay, take off the mm -hmm. promo cards at the end. Okay, let's do this. Dragons. Sarkon, Soul of Flame. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Shiv and Devastator. Bad. Nice. <laughs> All the dragons. Wizards. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can dragons and wizards consistently. More wizard? Yep. Yep. Oh, the dragon wing glider. So, like flying stuff. Oh, tiny dragon. So cute. That, more of that. More tiny dragons. More of the same one. More aggressive. Uh, another Shivan dragon. More books. Books and dragons. I love that. That's so on theme. What's more blue than books? Yeah, I don't really know. Um, you want to talk about how we did today? Our decks? Oh, yeah, you want to talk about it? <laughs> I guess. Um, what should we say about how we did at our pre-release? Well, um, I think you did better than, uh, not better than previous times, but I think you, uh, you learned a little more by this time. Mm -hmm. I think I came in with a clear strategy today, mm -hmm. which was nice. Well, and, hmm? I'm trying to remember, you got like, what was it, like 10th place or... No, you got like uh, no. Out of thirty-five people, yeah. I think I got twentieth place. Twentieth, yeah. Which was better than last time because oh. the first time we went in, I think I had like thirty-third place. So you're like near the bottom, yeah. But then again, there was like forty-five people that time, I think. Oh. Like at the top, it's like forty-four, forty-five people. Yes, there were less people this time. Yeah. Last time it was like 40, 44, 45 people. Now it's thirty-four. Now it's thirty-four. Mm -hmm. So pretty consistent. Not bad. I'd say like in the. Upper bottom half. <laughs> yeah, it's progress. It's progress. I think it is progress. Mm -hmm. um, but I ended up doing okay. My deck did exactly what I wanted it to do, mm -hmm. um, which was fun. Mm -hmm. I lost two. I won one. Well, you gotta win. Yeah, pretty much. How'd you do? Oh, um, no, I uh, got top three. Uh, I was me and our friend were one of the top three people who got like three wins mm -hmm. out of three. Oh no, it was it was really good. I'm very happy with uh, how I deck did. I think we we followed the basic rules. We followed kind of the strategies that were set, and we were able to take it really far. Yeah, I had a good time. Made mm. a couple friends today. That was oh, fun. absolutely. <laughs> okay. The real magic is the friends we made along it the way. It is the friends. We come for the cards. We leave for the friendship. Absolutely. No, we leave for the friendship. We leave with the friendship. <laughs> that's why it's the gathering. That's why it's that's the gathering. <laughs> okay, cool. On we go. Mr. Walker, Mr. Walker worked the factory. In your wildest wild.